<laughs> Active to your left. Bend down, crouch down. That way. To build additional programs for special education students after school, Thurgood Marshall developed a relationship with Youth Guidance, a 70-year-old foundation dedicated to serving the social needs of Chicago's youth. In Japanese, Ohayou Guzaima. When we first came to Thurgood Marshall Middle School, the faculty and primarily the teachers teaching exploratory programs, art, music, um, drama, were specifically looking for dance to add to their creative program. Um, they have a pretty well-rounded arts program here, and this was something that um, they thought would fit well, especially with the population of students, um, which is here primarily Latino, um, and dance and music is something that is um, very much a part of their everyday way of expressing themselves here at home with friends. Today we are concentrating on our African fairy tales, so we are going to begin with our African greetings, and we're going to start off with Kiswahili. Everybody say Kiswahili. Kiswahili. All right. And I, I talk about the meaning of language in general, the language of our spoken language, the language that is our body language, the language of dance, the language of the visual arts, and the language of, of movement theater. So, you know, I always, I, you know, I have many different ways of engaging them. Put her into a deep, deep sleep. <laughs> they would create stories, we would write them out, um, you know, we would read aloud. Um, but it did, I would say, it did definitely address their literary skills in terms of creating stories, you know, explaining why an action happened, developing character, what would the setting look like. The hyenas tried to attack her. No! no. Good. It's just an exciting thing, you know, students, well, they just love to, uh, to explore various kinds of medias to express themselves. It's made of like the potato that you put the potato bags in. I like jewel. Very good. It's and how the hell you call this? Oh, a, sack. a sack. Silk. Soon, teachers noticed that the arts activities were having an impact on students' academic abilities and self confidence in the classroom. The school then incorporated youth guidance into the school day. She was very surprised, and I think amazed at the kinds of effects that it had on students, particularly helping them, primarily I think with self-confidence, kids that had trouble performing and uh, doing tasks in the classroom. Uh, we both, you know, uh, uh, long house, no, like a house out of toothpicks because we, we researched on the, on the Indians that we had from Alaska and we, we, we got this picture out of the internet that looked like this. So we were just trying to make it like, like, you know, like a picture. So it won't look like the other ones that they have around, like just a teepee. Because teepee is so simple, you know, we try to make so it hard. So we're trying to make it hard so we could get great for it. 